Hello everyone, this is Elaine Vigafria of APU Student Press Assistant Team. We are sure that the massive earthquake and tsunami that struck on March 11, 2011 continues to cause concern to parents and guardians of APU students. New entrants must be specially concerned. Not only have they just arrived in Japan, but they also may have difficulties finding a reliable source of information about the recent events. Therefore, SPA members would like to help you by providing you with information about the situation in Oita Prefecture. Levels of Radiation in Oita Information on the levels of local air and waterborne radiation is released daily by Oita Prefecture. Typically, the level of airborne radiation present in Oita Prefecture is between 0.040 and 0.080 sievert per hour. On Monday, April 18, the reading stood at 0.051 sievert per hour, indicating that radiation's level in Oita Prefecture remain at a normal level. Furthermore, no traces of the radioactive materials Iodine-131 or Cajun-137 have been found as of Sunday, April 17. As for the town water supply, no traces of either iodine or Cajun have been found as of Sunday, April 17. More information about the levels of radiation in Oita Prefecture is available on the Oita Prefecture official homepage. This information is only available in Japanese, so please make use of services such as Google Translator. Each page provides charts with the latest readings. Items marked with Fuken Shusutsu indicate that no traces of that particular material have been found. Earthquake information in Oita Prefecture. Since the earthquake occurred on March 11, we have not experienced any major aftershocks in Oita Prefecture or APU as of April 18. Information on the earthquake is available on Japan Meteorological Agency homepage. Information is available in both Japanese and English. But please also make use of services such as Google Translator if the need arises. If you wish to visit the Oita Prefecture official homepage, you can see this one. So this means current ratio of atmospheric radiation and radioactive fallout. Beneath that is the present date. So this is taken last Monday, uh, April 18. So under that, the latest airborne radiation readings. So this is last Monday. Then the level is 0 0.051 microsievert per hour, so it means it's safe. So under that, latest levels of radioactive materials present in atmospheric fallout. You can see iodine-131 and cesium-137. Both indicate fuken shutsu, which means that no traces of that material have been found. If you wish to see the radiation levels in the town water supply, this means radiation levels in the town water supply. Under that is the present date. So this one is taken last Sunday. So this is iodine-131 and cesium-137 and 134. So both indicates fuken shutsu, which means there's no traces of the material found. Please visit every day Oita Prefecture's official homepage for the update readings of local air and waterborne radiation levels. You can also get more information on the FAFAS homepage. Different languages is available, including Chinese. <laughs> Thank you very much.